The Bible says in Mark chapter number 6, Jesus entered the hometown, his own hometown. His own town. The Bible says he could not do mighty miracles because the people, they were familiar with him. They knew him. And that's why sometimes it's hard when people start church with you, they are the first to dishonor you. Because they were, all of us were brothers and sisters in one church. Now you are now a pastor. This month is Pastor's Appreciation Month. Every church member appreciate your pastor. October 8th is a Pastor's Appreciation Month. And I'm asking how many have sent a test to say, Pastor, we appreciate you. Elijah didn't have anybody to encourage him. He was, he began, he was suicidal. God take my life. Sometimes we think pastors are superhero. Because we pray, we fast, we labor for the children of God. And after that, the people we labor for are the first people to frustrate our life. The devil is a liar. You will not be in that category. So don't give your pastor headaches. Support him. So this morning, I want us to rise. See, a place where they honor pastors, their prayer point reduced, miracles explode. I want us to rise this morning to celebrate our pastors. You know, God said, I will give you pastors after my heart. As I'm talking and someone is saying, is this the message you are preaching? Thank you, Holy Spirit. I want us to rise. The Bible says, give honor to whom honor is due. Let's celebrate our own pastor. And Pastor Rolake for the work they are doing. Celebrate God for sending them into your life. Celebrate them. Pastor, we love you. We love you very much with all our heart. Glory to God. You may be seated. Learn to rejoice. You know, celebrate your pastor. It's so important. Sometimes we trivialize our own. There is a covering you enjoy when you are under a grace. I'm preparing the message, the power of honor for increase. I'll be preaching it on Sunday. When two pastors stand right now, your pastor, for example, I'm just, for example, and another pastor stand, maybe there is nothing redeemed. Some people, let's say Jerry is this, some people who carry seed and say, take, 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 and leave this one alone. That thing will never work when you never submit to an authority or honor the one that God has sent into your life. Sometimes we define ministry, power, and anointing by the number of people that fall or by who is giving prophecy. That's how we now define ministry. God's, if I bring that the Jew and bring maybe. Joshua Selma. Some people will say, Joshua, please touch me. That is there. Listen to me. When God raised a man, he doesn't need to shout. Everywhere I go, I say this. A guest minister doesn't come because he's more anointed than the pastor. The pastor believes in diversity. Are you with me? So I want to share this. We have a church now. Everyone to get ready to get to work for evangelism. God has given you this land as you are taking authority. It's time for you to go to the neighborhood. Nobody will come on his own if you don't go out. And you can only go out when you choose to respond to the call of your pastor. And he's calling you now. 
I am speaking on his behalf. It's time to take this city. If you see, let me tell you. Do you know? Do you know that God said to the children of Israel, He said, Go and possess the land which I have given to you. He said, Go. I already gave you. But if the people refuse to go, the land will not be, they will not be able to possess the land. Do you understand me? So, until they entered the land, in fact, they went to spy the land, they saw giants in the land. When they saw giants, and the Bible says, two people said, Joshua and Caleb said, we can go at once. But others said there are giants. Listen to me, child of God. The giants are already defeated in the sight of God. They are defenseless. When they enter their weight without a weapon, the giants were supposed to be dead. Because God has spoken that he has given them the land. This land has been given to you. If you don't step out, they will not come. But when you step out, the people you talk to, you will see that they are following you. Because God has given you the land to possess. So get ready and get to work. Are we together now? Get ready and get to work. When we are moving, some people say, Pastor, where we are going to is too far. Farther than where we are. I said, do you go to a restaurant because it's in your neighborhood? Do you choose a doctor because it's in your neighborhood? Do you shop because it's in your neighborhood? Even when message is not in your neighborhood, you say we are going to the next city because we are shopping. What you feed into your spirit matters a lot. Where you feed matters a lot. So if God has given you a shepherd that gives you the right food, distance is not a barrier. Where we are currently in Dallas, our church is 40 minutes drive. With several toes, we will fly it. Whether it was one, if we visited the lady that is over one hour drive. She come to church. Listen, Jeremy. God has given you a place. He has given you men that stand in the gap for you, your pastor. Step out. Get to work. Get to work. See how we get to work. <laughs> I'm a member of a church now. I'm not pastoring. I try to give my pastor peace of mind. I say, pastor, tell me anything. I will run. I will run. In fact, the word I now use now, Pastor, I want to fly. Tell me. I want to. I am not doing eye service. It is in my nature. Am I speaking here? Imagine you have five of these people in one church. He's a busy man. Where he doesn't go, my wife and I will drive. We will go. We are doing underground work. Bringing people to church. All the people that gossip pastor, we fight them. Literally fight, fight them. We don't condole them. He is not aware. Am I speaking here? He's not aware. Let me change my message. Are we together now? So, learn to celebrate the people that God has given you. If you don't have a plan before, plan your pastor's appreciation day in this month of October. No, send him on vacation. Let him go and rest. Say, pastor will got your back. Your pastor love life. Give him, push that button. Prayer. You know what Isaac said? He said to his own children, he said, give me venison to eat so that my soul will be pleased so that I can bless you. What I'm saying now, he will not say it. Pastor Rolake will not say it. 
I am permitted to say it because when I finish, I get to her, I'm gone. And I'll be fasting and praying for him to bring me back another day. Glory to God. Learn to celebrate your own. When program is going on, my wife and I, we, are the only, we share our page. Pastor is preaching. We will share it. Some of you, you will share what God cannot do does not exist. You will not share your own. We will share. We will share. We see, oh, it's a good thing to serve. You just serve. You allow the person remove headache from his life. You remove the headache from the pastor's life. Glory to God. So I have a few minutes more. We're going to jump into the scriptures and we're going to pray. Glory to God. Please celebrate my wife that is here with me. And I want to thank you, every one of you, for your hospitality. Glory to God. Despite of what God used you guys to do, you still say, well, we will host Pastor Basil. I just want to say thank you. And uh, each time I come to Fountain of Life, one of the things that they do to me is they feed me. They feed me. And uh, so I now devise a plan. I fast before I come. Glory to God. I fast before I come. Because if I want to fast during that program, that food keep coming. Glory to God. I just want to say thank you. Please celebrate yourself for being here. God brought you here for a purpose. God brought you here for a purpose. Thank you, Lord. Luke chapter number ten, Luke chapter 10. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Luke 10, 19. Matthew chapter number 10, verse 1. Matthew 10, 1, Luke 10, 19. I'll start with Matthew 10, 1. And when he had called unto him, his 12 disciples, he gave them power against some green spirit to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases. Luke 10, 19. I have given you authority to tread upon snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. I'll be sharing briefly on take authority for your dominion. I started on Friday. I began to share about authority. Jesus, one of the things he mentioned was authority there. The word authority or power there from the King James Version is the word, the Greek word called exosia. Exosia means a delegated power. In other words, you never possess it, but because of the virtue of your position in Christ Jesus, the power, the authority has been given to you. So because of your position, you have the same ability that Jesus will have. You have the same ability that God had, the same authority that they command because of our virtue of our position in Christ. Second Corinthians Chapter number 5, verse 17. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. If any man be in Christ. So, there's something called in Christ. Anyone be inside Christ. He is a new creation. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Colossians chapter 1, verse 27. Colossians 1, 27. For Christ in you is the hope of glory so christ live in you this is the mystery christ live in you and we live in christ so authority have been given to us based on our virtue of our position in christ jesus why did god give us authority number one to enforce his will on earth number one to enforce his will on earth Number two, to operate like God on earth. Number two, to operate like God on earth. Number three, to combat the forces of hell. To combat the forces of hell. 
Number four, to enforce our dominion mandate on earth. Number five, to take what belongs to us. To take what belongs to us. One thing that Jesus did in Luke chapter number 10, verse number 19, or Matthew chapter 10, verse number 1, he gave them power. He gave them authority to frustrate the agenda of hell. He gave them power to frustrate the agenda of hell. Ladies and gentlemen, one thing we need to know is Satan is defeated. Satan is not powerful. He is being defeated. He's being annihilated. His power has been rendered useless. You are more powerful than Satan. Some of us don't know this. And that's the reason why every prayer point we pray, Satan, die. Satan, 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 Satan. Even though a rock is moving, Satan. Even though something is moving, Satan. Ladies and gentlemen, Satan is defeated. You are more powerful, more sophisticated than Satan. Satan has no power to kill you. If he had the ability to kill you, he had been well, you have been wasted the day you were born. He's been defeated. Let's go to the scripture. Let's go to the scripture. The Bible says, Luke chapter 8, 10 verse 18. Luke chapter 10 verse 18. The disciples came back. He said, Master, demons bow down in your name. And guess what he said? He said, I beheld Satan falling like lightning. So I beheld Satan falling. Bible never recorded that I beheld Satan rising. So he's falling and he has Falling, am I speaking here? He said, I beheld Satan falling like a lightning. Ladies and gentlemen, first John chapter number three, verse eight. First John chapter three, verse eight. The Bible says, For this purpose, the Son of Man was made manifest that he might paralyze, annihilate, frustrate, pull to a heart the powers of hell. So Satan is defeated. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 and 15. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 and 15. Therefore since the children share in flesh and blood, he himself likewise also partook of the same that through death he might render powerless he who had the power of death that is the devil and free those who through fear of death we are subject to slavery all their lives satan one of the things he using threatening men he said you are going to die you are going to die i will kill you and the bible says uh, if they have known uh, they wouldn't have crucified the lord of glory because Jesus death was his nightmare Jesus death was his frustration Jesus death was his doom Jesus death was his end so Satan is defeated Colossians chapter 2 verse number 15 Colossians chapter 2 verse number 15 the Bible says he left principalities and power he left principalities and power he led them in a procession he led them in a procession he made the spectacle show on them by openly disgracing them on the cross Satan is defeated over your life the power of hell is broken over your marriage the power of hell is broken Amen. over your job the power of hell is broken Amen. over your finances yes. it is broken Amen. over your business it is broken Amen. over your green card it is broken Amen. over your life it is broken Amen. over your children's life they are broken Amen. because God has defeated Satan yes. Philippians chapter 2 verse 8 he God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name that at the name of Jesus every nation power 
Ladies and gentlemen, he has given you power yes, to tread upon anything that will disturb you. Oh, yes. Anything that is oh, not yes. working oh, well yes. with you. Oh, yes. You have the name of Jesus oh, on your yes. lips. Oh, yes. That is your authority. Oh, yes. The unbreakable name. Oh, yes. The all-powerful name. Oh, yes. The Bible says every knee bows yes. both in heaven, yes. on earth, oh, yes. under the earth. Yes. Head tremble because of oh, that name. Yes. Oh, yes. And that name is in your lips. Oh, yes. And that name is in oh, you. Yes. Say, I am authority with I Christ. I am an authority. Yes. Satan is defeated. Yes, sir. Satan is defeated. Man take Abaya. And now, as Satan is defeated, we begin to see our, our identity in Christ. For you to operate in power, in this authority, you need to have an identity with Christ. You need to know whom you are in Christ. You need to know what God has created you to be. You need to know things about your life, your position. Number one on Friday, I talk about it. Give me Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 11. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11. I told you that you have, you are in a uniform. You are in a uniform. You are in a uniform. You wear uniform. The uniform you wear is the uniform called Christ. Because you are in Christ. You are dwelling in Christ. So Christ dwell in you. When demons sees you, they see Christ inside of you. Your skin color is not reflected in the spirit. Mm. Your height is not reflected in the spirit. Oh, yes. Your color, your weight, your size, your name is not even reflected in the spirit. Yes. What they see in the spirit is Christ, Christ in you. you. Oh, yes. It's the hope of glory. glory. Is Christ in you. Oh. Is the hope of your victory. Am I speaking to somebody here? Because you carry something bigger than you. First John chapter 4 verse 4. Ye have got little children. And have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in me. Than he that is in the world. I am not afraid of accident. Because when I enter the car. The devil that is trying to destroy the car and the people, their life will be spared. Oh, yes. The Bible says Paul was in a comfort, <laughs> he was in a void, and the ship got wrecked. He said, Because I am here, yes, all of you are preserved. Oh, yes, you are the one preserving your family. Yes. Pastor gave a testimony yes. because Pastor was there. His whole team we are preserved. Yes, sir. Your preservation is guaranteed. Amen. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Yes, sir. What you carry is bigger than yes. you. Yes. Bigger than your community. Yes. Bigger than your problem. Yes. Bigger sir. than the whole world. Yes. And he lives inside. Glory, glory, glory. He lives inside you. Glory, glory. He lives inside you. Glory, glory. He lives inside you. Glory. Glory. Let me let me walk you through this. The Bible says that the children of Israel, when they got to the Red Sea, Moses did not know the thing he carried was supposed to make an expressway they were seeing impossibility and Moses came he said oh God I want to beg you for something God said to Moses don't pray to me now that's what he said read it Exodus chapter 14 he said do not pray to me now he said Moses there is something in your hand there is something you carry there is something that will make you uncomfortable in the place of adversary. There is something that will make you hyper. Am I speaking to somebody here? He said, Moses, stretch your hand towards the sea. It is not a time of prayer. It's a time of command. There the word of a king is. There is power. 
He says, stretch your hand yes, to where the sea. Yes, stretch your hand. Stretch your hand towards the impossibility. Oh, yes. Stretch your hand yes. towards that disappointment. Yes. The Bible says, yes. My God will fight for you. Yes. You shall hold your peace. Yes. The Egyptian you see today, oh. you will see them no more. Because your authority is not all about you. Yes, sir. It's the one who is backing you. Yes, sir. So that he can act based on what you did. Am I speaking to somebody here? Yes, sir. Yes, he said, sir. Moses, stretch your hand. Stretch your hand. Yes, sir. Toward that problem. Yes. Stretch your hand. Yes, sir. He said, divide it. Yes, sir. Don't say God said I should divide you. No, I he said, I should be anagaba. Yeah! Yeah! He divided the sea. The Bible says in the New Testament, Jesus was sleeping. Something was creeping. There was a storm and a wave. There was a raging storm. The ship wanted to capsize. The man that knew his authority was sleeping. The people that didn't know whom they are, they were panicking. <laughs> my God. My God. Yes, my God. Yes, sir. My God. Yes, sir. I am not afraid. Oh, yes. If my father is Mr. Manchu, if my father is Anna Swaznigga, I am not afraid to bring him to school to look at the children who bully me. Because I have my to talk, there is man. They have bicep and tricep. They have six pack, seven pack, ah, eight pack, ten pack. We must not build behind me. I will walk ball to the bully. I'll say, do your worst now. They will not touch me. Why? They see someone that is behind ah. me. God is behind you. Amen. You are not supposed to fear. Amen. The righteous is as bold as a lion. As a lion. Because the lion of the twelve that dropped Judah, yes. he lives inside of you. Am I speaking to somebody here? Yes, sir. So the Bible says Jesus was sleeping. He was sleeping. Care not that we perish, Master. He woke up, clean his face. He said, What's going on? Oh, this little demon. He lifted up his right hand. He said, Peace. Still. and the Bible said even on the wind and the wave they obeyed him am I speaking here yes, sir. that same Jesus yes, sir. you have his DNA yes. I, lion give birth to lion oh, yes. I am a son of a lion oh, yes. I am not raised a goat oh, yes. am I speaking here I am a son of an eagle I am not a chicken that is frightened my chicken heart has been turned to a lion yes, heart. Sir. I yes, am not sir. afraid. Yes, sir. Because he has not given me the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Am I speaking here? Yes, sir. That we keep him in perfect peace. Everyone, whose mind is stirred on it. Because they hey. trust in you. My God. Jesus rebuilt the wind. The disciples, they were tired. Yes. Let me walk you through. Please don't forget Ephesians chapter 6. But let me walk you through a scenario. The Bible says, Moses and the children of Israel, they parted the Red Sea. When they parted the Red Sea, they walked on the background. Some say authority. Authority. Say authority. Authority. For dominion. For dominion. The Bible says, the children of Israel, they were about to walk through River Jordan. The Bible says they carried the ark. Because they step into the water. Once they step into the water, the water divided. So it's authority. Authority. When it comes to the time of Elijah, Elijah did not need to carry the ark of God. He did not need to carry a rod. He carried his mantle. He said, Ayagada. Way. Look at River Jordan, he parted it wide open. Him and his associate they walk on the dry ground. When Elisha carried the mantle, 
He said, Where is there? Is the Lord God oh. of Elijah? He car carried the mantle, parted the Red Sea. Many years later, Jesus showed up the scene. Jesus did not carry a crowd, he did not carry a stick, he did not carry a mantle. Oh, yes. He went to a place of St. Crucial. He began to regador. Yagada. There is power in prayer. On desire and travel, he brought forth. When you pray, you stay up an atmosphere. Prayer is the vehicle that transports you to your next level. Prayer is that thing that makes you to fly. Jesus, after praying all night, he said, I don't need to part the sea. He began to walk on the sea. He began to walk hey! on the sea. I have dominion over the sea. Hey! I have dominion over hey! the sea. Ladies and hey! gentlemen, there is something you carry. Yes. You limit your life too much. Yes. You have dominion. Yes. Anywhere. Yes. Joshua 1 3. Anywhere. The soul of your feet shall tread upon. Yes. You will have it as Amen. a possession. Amen. Something is worrying your children. Yes. You say, in the name of, of Jesus, Jesus, my God, you send them back to hell. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. every nation bow. Are you with me? He walked on the water. Ephesians chapter number 6. I said we are in a uniform. He said put on the whole armor. Someone say armor. Of God. That ye may be able to stand. Against the wise of the devil. Give me verse 13. Give me verse 13. My God. And he said, therefore, take up the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand the evil day and have it done or to stand. Next verse. And he said, stand therefore, having your waist with truth. The Bible said, Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. So the truth is the gospel. Jesus around your waist. Next verse. And stand therefore. No. Get, go back again. We are not done with that. He said, and have it put on the breastplate of righteousness. Second Corinthians chapter number 2. No, 5. Verse number 21. He became sin. Who knew no sin? That we might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So, everything the truth, the righteousness, they are Jesus. He said, put them on. Follow me. And he said, have it your feet. With the preparation of the gospel of peace. The gospel we preach is the gospel of Jesus. Next verse. And he said, above all, take the shield of faith. Which you use in quenching every fiery death of the wicked one. Jesus is our faith. Next verse. And he said, and take the helmet of salvation. And the sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. Everything about you. Is Jesus Christ? Amen. Am I speaking to somebody here? Yes, sir. He's the authority. Oh, yes. When he came out one day, demon looked at him and they said, We know whom you are. <laughs> you are the son of the living God. Are you here to destroy us before our time? When you come out of prayer, when you come out, demon look at you, they are scared of you. Accident are scared of you. Failures are scared of yes, you. Sir. Am I speaking here? Oh, yes. Because the one that lives in you. Yes. My God. Yes. My God. Yes. My God. Yes. My God. Yes. He gave you authority. Yes. He gave you power. Yes. John chapter 20. Yeah. John chapter 20, verse 21. He said, As the Father has sent me, so I am sending you to be in my place act in my place do this in my place am i speaking to somebody here yes sir the bible says that in in uh in isaiah i believe give me one minute let me pull this up very quickly i talk about it on sunday on friday ah thank you holy ghost thank you holy ghost 
Thank you, Holy Ghost. Man take barakatia. In Exodus chapter 15, verse number 6. Exodus chapter 15, verse 6. We're going to be praying very soon. Exodus chapter 15, verse 6. He said, the right hand of God is power. Some say power. power. The right hand of God is power. And the Bible says in Ephesians chapter number 2, verse 6. He said, we are seated with Christ in heavenly places. Yes, sir. And we are seated with Christ in heavenly places. And the Bible says in, in Colossians chapter 3, verse number 1. Colossians 3, verse 1. The Bible says, if ye be risen with Christ. He said, seek those things that are above where with Christ is seated at the right hand of the father the right hand of god is power so if you if christ is seated at the right hand of god god christ is seated in the place of god's power, power. and we are seated together with christ in that heavenly place a place of authority a place of power let me give you the big one colossians chapter number two verse number nine Colossians chapter 2, verse number 9. Same thing, Colossians chapter 1, verse number 19, 18 and 19. And the Bible says, if it's the Bible, Colossians chapter 2, verse number 9, 9 and 10. It said, In him dwell all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. In him dwell all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. In verse number 10, he said, And she are complete in him. Who is the head of all principalities, of all powers? Jesus. And you are completed. You are joined here with Christ. You are in Christ. Yes. Christ is in you. Yes. He carried your name. Oh, yes. He became sin that you might become righteous. Yes. He carried your yes. weakness so that you can carry his lion yes. heart. You can carry, he carry your timidity yes. so that you can carry his voracity. Oh, yes. Am I speaking to somebody here? Yes, sir. You are a lion roaring. Oh, yes. Christ living in you. Oh, yes. So stay head on with that devil. Oh, yes. No power can stand against yes. you. No what can suspend you? Yes. Am I speaking here? Yes. One day I had a dream. Ooh, ooh. I had a dream. When I had a dream, I had a dream that some creatures, they were fighting me. No, they were coming against me. And also, they brought all kinds of crazy things around me. I was trying to struggle around the whole thing. I woke up. I said, what nonsense? I said, Satan, listen to me. In the name of Jesus, if I see this dream again, I will do all night to worry all your kingdom on this earth. I said, this is the last one. I went back to sleep. I had a dream I was in a crusade ground with Daddy Gio Adeboye. You are too afraid. One little dream the devil wants to scare you. You wake up frightened. Because they told you if you eat in that dream, you will be sick. If I eat in that dream, I will wake up the next morning. I, I will take water. I say, it giveth me my goodness. Why? Because I know the level of my authority. No enemy can waste me. I am unkillable, unwasteable. Because I hide under the mercy of Christ. Yes, sir. The Bible says at the mountain surround Jerusalem. Oh, yes, so Lord, the Lord surround me. me. Am I speaking to somebody yes, here? Sir. Some of you, you are good with midnight prayer. I pray midnight prayer. I pray to worship God. But you now say I pray midnight prayer. All my enemies scatter. Oh, it's a good prayer, but it should not be your order of life. Oh, yes. Because you will never be delivered from it. Oh, yes. Learn the revelation of Christ. Some of you, you are going on vacation. You are scared to post that you are going to Miami. So that your village people will not monitor you. If you monitor me, hey. you die. Hey. Am I speaking here? Yes, sir. My God. 
Yes, when sir. I study, I used to pray by monetary spirit okay. until I find the scripture that said, Anyone that is born of God, John chapter 1, he said, You are like a wind. No one knows where you are going, no one knows no where one you are coming from. from. They that born oh. not of blood, not of the seed of man. But of God, yes, sir. Bible told me of his own will. Yes, sir. Begat him me by the word of truth, yes. which liveth and abideth forever. Yes, sir. I am not born by my mother. Yes. The day I got born again, my DNA changed. Yes, sir. I am no longer from my village. Yes. By recognition, I yes. came to thee. I came from, from my the, village. Yes. But from God's identity, I am from Zion. Yes. Be city. Of the, of the living God, God. with innumerable, with innumerable yes. company of angels, yes. I have come to Mount Zion, yes. with angels surround me. Yes. Why should yes. I be afraid? Yes. I usually say, I am from Zion, roaring in Zion. <laughs> my goodness, my goodness. Somebody say you are bossing. Ah, Paul say when you boss, you boss in the Lord. Oh yes. Am I speaking here? Yes, sir. By strength shall no man prevail. Yes. Paul said in Philippians, for it is God. Yes. Who walketh in me, both to will and to do. do. My God. Oh, my God. My God. See, I have authority. See, I have authority. Authority. See, I have authority. authority. I have authority. I have authority. I have authority. I have authority. The Bible told me uh, in Jeremiah, he said, You are my battle ass. With the will, I will break in pieces nations and kingdom. When he was calling Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 1, he said, I have set you above nations and kingdom to pull them down. To uproot them, my goodness. The Bible says in Psalm chapter number two, he said, This is what the Lord says. He said, Today is your birthday. Ask anything. Nation as a present. He said, Command you me. Oh, yes. My goodness. My goodness. Your father owns the world. Principalities and power are under your feet. Yes, sir. You are completing Christ. Oh, who is the head of principalities and power? Hey, so use your authority. Yes, sir. Use your authority. Oh, yes. In Acts chapter 3, yes. Jesus, Paul, Peter, yes, yes. he met the crippled man at a beautiful gate. Yes, sir. He said, You are crippled. Uh, this is not a prayer point. It's not a, I need an authority. Uh, I need to enforce my authority. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, Give me your hand. Uh, In the name of yes. Of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. No prayer, no speaking in tongues. The man leap and start dancing. You don't use the name of Jesus. Use the name of Jesus every place, every way. You say in the name of Jesus. In the name. In the name of Jesus. In the, in the name, name of Jesus. In the name. In Can the I shock name. you? Can I shock you? When demons see you with that name with you, they see Jesus coming. They are scared of you. They are afraid of you. They want to go into hiding because you came. My goodness. My goodness. My goodness. My God. So why will you be afraid? Your business is not working. You say, I take authority. I take authority. In the name of Jesus. In the name of my Jesus. business flourish. My business flourish. Because uh, it is written, the righteous shall flourish like cedar in Lebanon. Am I speaking to somebody here? Money is not forthcoming. You don't have idea. You say, in the name of Jesus, it is written. Deuteronomy 8.18 that it giveth me power to make wet. Something is not working. You want more money. You say Zechariah 1.17 in the name of Jesus it is written my people through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad. 
So you say in the name of Jesus, things are falling in place. Yes. Because Bible tells me they move from nation to nation and kingdom to kingdom. He suffered no man to do them wrong. He rebuked king for their sake, Psalm 105. He said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Am I speaking to somebody here? Yes, sir. There is oil on your head. Amen. I have found Basi, my servant. Hey, I don't know, put your name there. I, found talk I have found Basi, my servant. I found talk with, with my, my holy oil. With my holy oil. Have I anointed him? Have I anointed talk with Sam my said. Yeah. I, you know, I will not die. You know what David said? I shall not die but live. Yeah. To declare the That's word God of God. God. Psalm 23 He know who he knows He said the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want He make me to lie down in green pasture He lead me beside the sea water He restored my soul He lead me in the path of righteousness For his name's sake Yeah Even though I walk through the valley Of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me for thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy thou anointed my head with oil and my cup runneth over he says surely 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 Surely, Surely, goodness and mercy, Christ, and follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Somebody shall fire.